Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Abby, and if you are new here, I am the Simplified Saver, and I love to help people find easy and simple ways to save money in their everyday lives. So, if you are new here, make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss a future video. Very exciting news to share with y'all. In one week, I am going to be launching Budget Fix Academy. Yay! Yay! This is the biggest and best thing that I have ever put together for y'all and I'm so excited to share with you. I have put blood, sweat, and tears into this program and it's all for you to help you stick to your budget and make a budget for the last time. Budget Fix Academy is actually what inspired today's video. Today's video I'm sharing with you how to guarantee you don't go over your grocery budget ever again. And I got this idea for this video because Budget Fix Academy is an online course that I have created for you to take to share with you how to stick to your budget, how to pay off massive debt, how to reach your financial goals, and basically how to not make any of the mistakes that we have made financially and to guarantee financial success for you. So if that is something you are interested in, make sure to get on the wait list. I will link it down below. All you need to do is give me your email and you will be sent an email whenever the course launches and I'm going to be doing a lot of talking about it that week so that you can learn about it and see if it's something that you're interested in. So I will link that down below Low. This video was inspired because I have been talking back and forth with a ton of you about the hardest part of budgeting and the hardest part that everyone is sharing there's like a common theme here is that the hardest part is actually sticking to your budget sticking to your budget is hard and it can be difficult especially if you're brand new at it the part of your budget that is usually hardest to stick to groceries so that's why I created today's video for you so that I can share with you how to not go over your grocery budget ever again and it's gonna save you hundreds of dollars every single month I promise you so let's get into the video I am parked outside of Aldi right now and that's where I'm gonna be doing my shopping today and I'm gonna get started with some helpful tips tip number one is to make sure that you eat before you go to the grocery store it's a problem for everybody and I think everyone's experienced it if you go to the store hungry you're gonna be tempted to buy way more than what you actually need so I had a coffee already and I had my little breakfast and now I'm here at the store ready to go and the next tip is going to be figure out what store is the cheapest around you. For me, Walmart and Aldi are the cheapest stores. Aldi is slightly cheaper. However, I do shop at Walmart whenever I need things that Aldi does not have because I think it's inconvenient to have to go to two different stores to grocery shop. So that week, if I need things that Aldi doesn't have, I'll just go to Walmart. Now, I actually haven't been grocery shopping in person since before COVID happened. I've just been doing delivery, which is wonderful and great, but they upcharge you for delivery and you have to pay for a fee and so it is not the cheapest so if you want to have those things that's totally fine you're just gonna have to account for that in your grocery budget the next thing is to actually set a budget and some people don't know what number is good for them so the rule that I go by is a hundred dollars a person per month in your family so there are five people in my family so each person is a hundred dollars so that's five hundred dollars a month for groceries it also can be broken up like twenty five dollars per person per week so five times twenty five is a hundred and twenty five dollars so my weekly groceries um, allowance is a hundred and twenty five dollars if I were to shop twice a month it would be 250 each time and really sometimes I don't even need the hundred and twenty five because I have a baby but I I also include like what I'm saying is we could get all of our groceries for a hundred dollars a month but I add in this extra 25 because this is everything I need at the store this is mascara toothpaste paper towels paper plates diapers wipes household consumables go in this grocery budget too so I do need this $25 sometimes. So I'm actually going to take you into the store with me and show you what I do in the store, but the honest truth is that a lot of planning 
for the grocery store like has to happen before you actually go in. If you are really busy in your life, you would probably assume that it's hard to meal plan, but actually, if you have a busy life, that's when you need a grocery plan because it will save you from being overwhelmed throughout the week. If you are overwhelmed throughout the week with plans and you don't grocery shop, and meal plan accordingly you're going to be tempted to eat out and that's going to cause you to waste more money i have been there i have done that we are in baseball right now and it's hard i just want to order a pizza but i've got to meal plan to save my family money so now we're actually going to talk about the budget so instead of just saying I have $125 this week for groceries, that's actually wrong. You need to have a plan within your plan to be successful. So don't just think of a blanket slate, I have $125 for groceries. You need to break up that money into categories and it's gonna ensure you have success. So how I meal plan, I bring to the store with me a hardback, smaller size journal and this is where I meal plan and write out my groceries. I will link these down below. They are super cute. It's like about the size of my face, so they're not too bulky. You could probably find smaller if you wanted, but um, they were only two for like $10 on Amazon, so I'll link them down below. But basically, I go into the store with this journal and a pen, and I already meal plan before I got here. I do it on Friday nights, right after the kids go to bed. It doesn't take long, only like 30 minutes, and the more you do it, the faster faster and easier it's gonna get. So I meal plan what we need for the next week and then Saturday morning I either go get the groceries or I have them delivered. So this is all that I do. Over here I have the dates, April 10th through 16th. I have a breakfast category. I pick one breakfast for the week. Lunch, I pick one lunch for the week to meal prep. Snack, so a snack or two idea for the week miscellaneous and I have Saturday Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday so there's seven meals here for the weeknight one meal is gonna be eating out I allow us to eat out one night a week for fun and the other night is going to be like leftovers or grilled cheese or cereal something along the house like in the house that I don't have to do Maybe it's a frozen meal, I don't know. And then there's only five actual nights that I need to plan for for meals. So those five nights, I am actually gonna set a budget for those five nights. And each of those nights are gonna get $10 for each dinner. So my dinners that week is gonna be $50 max. Does that make sense? So you're basically creating a budget for your dinners. And $10 meals is actually really affordable for a family. I have a whole video of casserole that I made that are $10 I'll link it up here $10 each was the budget it's super realistic so those five meals I'll have a $10 budget for each of those that leaves me $75 my $75 even if I knock that off and I say $50 my other $50 is for the breakfast for the week the lunch for the week um, snacks like and then the regular items like milk bread eggs produce and that's how I grocery budget the extra $25 for my $125 budget I actually save for like the household consumables like I already said sometimes I don't use it every week so you need to have a plan within your plan for the groceries and that's going to help you know how much you're spending because it's easy to be like I'm going to cook this tonight for dinner. It sounds wonderful, but when you get all of the stuff for it, it's actually an $18 meal, and you're not going to have leftovers. That's the other point. Leftovers you can use for lunch for the whole week. Um, but yeah, that's not smart. So you need to have some sort of limit for each meal to guarantee that you won't go over budget. All right, so the other thing that I do whenever I go into the store, or actually before I go into the store, is I look at the sales page for that store. So online, I will Google the Audi sales page for that week, and I look at what's on sale. Now, not every time is it realistic to use everything that's on sale, but for example, 
this week whenever I was planning groceries and I looked at the sale, I saw that grapes were 85 cents a pound and blueberries were like $1.50 for a pint, which is really cheap. So I'm gonna grab one blueberries for to freeze and then one to use this week. And we're gonna have oatmeals and berries um, for breakfast this week. And we're gonna be using the packet oatmeal because let's be honest, I don't have time before I work in the morning to do homemade oatmeal. So. I'm gonna get blueberries and strawberries and we're gonna have a homemade, um, homemade, we're gonna have oatmeal and berries for breakfast. So those were on sale. And um, kale is actually on sale this week too. So I have my sale items in green. So I'm gonna get a big thing of kale and one night for dinner, we're gonna do like a kale and feta, like stir fry, it's so good. It sounds gross, but it's really, really good. Um, but then on the other side of this journal this is my like my plan this is my grocery list and so this is really really important another way you can guarantee to not go over your grocery budget is to get like the Walmart grocery app or a grocery app and put everything into cart and that's gonna give you an estimate of what you're gonna spend. Now, if you know that where you're shopping is more expensive than Walmart, then you're gonna have to add on uh, some money to fit that budget but if you know where your shopping is cheaper you can say okay well at Walmart this is probably gonna be $99 at Aldi it may be 90 and that will give you a good range I promise it's a really good tip all right and the last thing I'm gonna do before I go into the store is see if I have any coupons for where I'm shopping now just because that you have a coupon doesn't mean you need to use it if you actually don't need that item you can actually spend more money using coupons if you don't actually need so don't focus on how much you're gonna save. Focus on, am I actually gonna need it? Um, because if you just start buying things for the sake of saving money, you're gonna spend more money if, than if you just would have not even bought it in the first place. So look at coupons if you have them and apply them to like your budgeting total. And then I am just waiting for them to open. I got here at a little early on purpose because they have a markdown aisle in the back and they mark down their meat and usually right in the early morning, it's there. So I'm gonna go look for it. I like to look at their markdown meat, stick it in my freezer, and that's how I build up a stockpile of meat. Um, but I am gonna be honest for this meal plan, I'm not buying a ton of meat, so my grocery budget should be way cheaper than usual um, because I have a lot of meat for like frozen in my freezer. So we will see what my total is. I could be budgeting for 125. I don't really need a lot of household consumables, so I'm gonna budget for 100. If I could be below 80, that would be absolutely wonderful. So, I'm gonna bring you with me. If you're at Aldi, don't forget your quarter so you can get your buggy, and I will actually show you like me shopping and what I do once I get inside. So, let's go. So please make sure before you plan out your meals that you take a quick glance in your fridge, your freezer, and your pantry. Shop your shelves at home and use what you have on hand to make some meals and then grocery shop. This is called shelf cooking and this is a great way to save yourself some money on your grocery budget too. All I am doing right now is writing down what the item is worth whenever I grab it. So I'm just taking a second to write down that whatever this is, is like a dollar or two dollars. And then at the end, I'm gonna add all of these up in my phone and it's gonna give me a ballpark figure of how much I am spending. All right, so another tip I have is if you're an Aldi or Walmart, stay away from the fun aisle. That aisle over there is all of the cool stuff that I really want to spend money on, but I don't have the money for it. So don't even go down that aisle if you don't need that stuff. All right, now Aldi has marked down meat on the weekends, and I always come and look before somebody takes it and I keep it for my freezer. All right, so 
so they didn't have any marked down meat, which is okay. I usually only get it though if I'm trying to stock up my freezer and they just didn't have anything I liked, so it's all right. So another tip I have is to kind of stay away from pre-packaged or pre-cut things. It's gonna cost you a whole lot more money to do that. So for example, you can buy these pre-packaged things for almost $3, or these are $2.29 and it's super, super light, or you can spend less money and just buy 99 cents, buy cookies by themselves. All right, now also make sure that you're going for just like general basic brands. Um, what's that called? Not like the super nice brand, like a, the generic. So like this chunky salsa is huge. It's a dollar 19. Or I could come down here and I could buy Clint's, which I do love, but you know, I'm sacrificing right now. We're budgeting. $3.79 for half as much. So I would have to buy two of these to get the same amount as this one. All right, so instead of buying two of these for basically $6, I'm gonna save and I'm gonna buy one for five 19 so I'm done I have found everything I've crossed it out and I've written down the actual price and now I'm gonna total it up on my phone and see how I am and if I have extra I will check out or if there's other things that I want I'll go get them and see if I can fit it in my budget and if I'm over budget I'll have to take away all right I'm totally shocked remember how I said I wanted to stick around 80 bucks this was the total after I added everything up. So, if I was trying to be like super strict, I would stop, but I have 20 more bucks, and I'm gonna just grab some other things that we're running low on that we want, but we don't necessarily like need. Let me go get that, and then we will check out. All right, so I grabbed some drinks, cheese, Cheez-Its, and hot dogs. So this should probably get us around like a hundred, maybe less. That's the goal. If you can believe it or not, I actually left my wallet in the car. So I'm gonna go get that and then I'll be back. groceries and check out my total $97.36 so that was a win and that's how you do it guys yay, yay! guys I did it I stayed under my budget $97.36 I even had some fun stuff that I could buy like extra things and that I stay on budget and really if you can't do that you're making excuses for yourself and I hate to be really blunt but if you hate where your life is right now financially if you don't want to be there anymore if you're desperate for change you're gonna have to change your habits and do something different you cannot keep going on like you are and expect yourself to get out of debt expect yourself to save for the future you've got to change your habits and this is one way one simple easy way to save 
hundreds of dollars a month. I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. This is just one little snippet of what I am sharing in Budget Fix Academy. There is going to be so many more great and helpful tips and I'm going to be sharing with you my honest debt story in next week's video so stay tuned and be on the lookout for budget fix academy and my upcoming videos subscribe if you have not and i challenge you to try this method stick to your grocery budget this week and save some money put it on your debt give yourself a treat whatever your financial circumstances this method will work for you will you be doing this forever Probably not. I mean, the hope is to not be doing this forever to get out of debt and have more money, but it's okay if your life has to be like this for right now. Temporary sacrifices now mean more fun later. Right? Right. I will see you again in next week's video. Bye, everybody.